Crypto investors and the middle class are going to be absolutely decimated because of the Inflation Reduction Act. Uh, what's going to happen is $725 billion created out of thin air to reduce inflation pressures. So they're going to create a lot of currency out of thin air, which dilutes the currency, which creates more inflation to help ease inflation pressures. I mean, this is a story out of Orwell or, or Idiocracy. But first, please like, subscribe, check us down below for our CT Club where you get our trade alerts, our portfolio updates, and what we are buying during this bear market, which is looking very nice so far. Um, <clears throat> all right, 87,000 employees the IRS is going to have uh, fairly soon after they go on a hiring spree of $80 billion. Okay, so the Inflation Reduction Act is helping support this. Okay, that is a $725 billion program to help Americans deal with inflation and also to help them deal with climate change. And so, yeah, you can't make this stuff up. Right now, there's 70 six or 78,661 full-time employees for the IRS. This is more going to more than double the amount of IRS people. The IRS is going to have a, more people than can fit in a full-size stadium, football stadium. That's how many people they're going to hire. They're actually going to hire probably a little more than that. That's a lot of people. Why are they going to do this? So their excuse is, uh, we're, we're gonna go after billionaires and people that make over $400,000 a year. Here's a good quote from uh, Lauren Boebert. She says, Biden wants to hire 87,000 IRS agents. There are less than 1,000 billionaires in America. It's not about auditing billionaires, okay? The, Senator Ted Cruz says, uh, that those agents will target Americans with 1.2 million new audits, more than half of which will be for people making less than $75,000 a year. Also, the IRS will spend $46 billion to audit the middle class to recapture, keep in mind, they're spending $46 billion to recapture $4.6 billion in unpaid taxes. So, why are they doing this? What the heck is going on right now? Well, it's pretty easy to see. Look what happened with Tornado Cash. It's a mixing service. The IRS is like, I don't know how to deal with this stuff. You know, Americans are starting to use these mixing services. And so they shut down Tornado Cash, which is pretty much an Ethereum uh, mixing service. So what's gonna happen now? There's gonna be tons more people wanting to use mixing services because it's all over the news, Tornado Cash. There are people are like, what is Tornado Cash? This is what you call the Streisand effect. So uh, for instance, when Uber uh, was um, working in the UK and there was a taxi strike to say, hey, we hate Uber. Half the people in the UK didn't even know what Uber was until the taxi started striking. Same thing with this. The US government is going, hey, we need to get rid of these mixing services because it's dangerous and you can hold your privacy. Well, now people are gonna want their privacy. They're gonna, they, the IRS knows that they're gonna have to hire more and more people just to keep up with this space. They're not even close to keeping up with this space right now. And it's gonna get even more and more tough as the free market creates more mixing services, other different things to keep your privacy. Even Ethereum is going to possibly come out with this stealth addresses, which means, you know, privacy, more privacy for your addresses and all that stuff. And people are going to be using this. So there's going to be a lot of more currency printing, which is going to cause a lot more inflation because of this Inflation Reduction Act. It's kind of like the Patriot Act. It wasn't really patriotic when they're spying on, on Americans, all right? So it's the same same story over and over again. When you see something that the US government is trying to help you help people with, it's usually going to destroy their lives even more and more. Kind of ironic. Anyways, please like, subscribe, and I will talk to you soon.